What's up guys, today we'll be talking about five laptops for 300 bucks and under. So let's go ahead and get started. First off is the Acer Spin. So uh, this is a pretty good laptop. If you get the non-touch version of this, it will be actually much cheaper around 260, uh, which is a pretty good price. But uh, the touch model is 321 right now. And I think it's a pretty good deal, especially for what most people want to do. Uh, on their laptop uh, so this guy has a 11.6 inch display it's full 1080p actually which is really nice it's an IPS panel so you get really excellent viewing angles and again if you're somebody that wants to use your uh, laptop as like a tablet if you're laying in bed or something like that to watch Netflix YouTube videos whatever uh, you will be able to do that on here and again uh, this one is touchscreen as well so you have a quad core processor in I guess a lot about gaming on these and you won't be able to do much gaming with uh, $300 laptops uh, unless it's going to be sort of older PC games or emulators uh, you really need to be in the four to five hundred dollar range uh, to be able to do that but this laptop uh, does have an quad core processor up to 2.5 gigahertz also 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage uh, which you can expand uh, if you want to uh, you do have on here actually stereo speakers on here uh, which can get pretty loud so that is something that I really like as well well, it runs the full version of Windows, uh, which is really nice. So it's not the Windows S mode, uh, which is nice. So the battery is rated up to about 10 hours of screen on time, uh, which is very good. So this is easily a laptop that you can carry around. You won't have to worry about it dying. And again, very media focused as well. It's got a nice big trackpad along with a pretty decent sized keyboard as well. And it's got a really cool brush. Uh, look on it which is really nice so it won't pick up or it won't show a ton of fingerprints next is the hero book pro so this is $300 flat and you have a 14.1 inch 1080p IPS display so a much bigger display than the first laptop that we saw so this is really a uh, geared towards content now this one is not touch screen and it does not swivel so uh, do note that uh, so you do have uh, 8 gigs of RAM on here in a 256 gigabyte SSD which is really nice so you get way more uh, internal storage uh, as well so I know this is not like a brand that everyone knows but from what I've seen they make some pretty uh, decent laptops uh, you also have a full-size keyboard on here which is going to be really great for people with bigger hands so uh, this is definitely the one that you're going to want to look at and it is pretty thin uh, and light so you will be able to put this in a backpack or carry it around and it's not going to feel like a heavy brick uh, so you do have the intel n4000 processor which is a pretty decent processor uh, it shouldn't slow down if you take care of the laptop don't install any viruses or anything like that uh, you can definitely uh, watch 4k video on here no problem so on this laptop you do have the USB uh, DC charging port and you also have a mini HD uh, port as well with a headphone jack and this also runs Windows 10 OS the full version which is really nice and this guy has a rated battery life of around 9 hours so you also get 24 watt uh, charging as well which is really nice so I really like this pick again definitely will hop on this one for people with bigger hands next is the Asus Vivo book so uh, this one is a, another sort of compact uh, laptop and again depending on which storage configuration you get this one it comes down to uh, 250 bucks so very cheap on the list if you want a cheaper more compact uh, Windows laptop as well so this one has an 11.6 inch HD display at 720p uh, of course you have your webcam on board as well as 64 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM you also have Windows 10 but it is in S mode so do note that uh, you also have 4 gigs of RAM and they also include uh, Microsoft Office 365 uh, for one year which is pretty nice again this is a very light and small laptop so definitely for people with smaller hands do a lot of traveling this is something that you are gonna want to pick up you also have a 180 degree hinge on here uh, as well which is really nice so you can uh, go ahead and flip this laptop now with this one you do also get nine hours of screen on time or battery life which is really great so I like this one again compact laptop for people with smaller hands uh, you definitely will have a comfortable experience with this one and again, very cheap on the list. 250 is a really, really nice 
uh, price if you're not trying to break the bank here uh, one of the cheaper ones here so definitely uh, it's just like the first one we saw but uh, without the touch screen now my favorite one on the list the acer aspire 5 slim laptop so this one is around 349 right now and it's a really really nice laptop i think it does uh, the best of both worlds uh, from the first two that we saw uh, so this laptop actually has a really nice design i love the design on here it uh, looks really nice uh, this one has a 15.6 inch display so the biggest display on this list it's a massive display uh, full 1080p so this is very ideal for people that are really on their laptops a lot you don't have a desktop you're using your laptop for mostly everything uh, then this is going to be the one typing papers watching netflix uh, just a big beautiful display uh, to look at so you also have the amd ryzen 3 processor uh, on here with four gigs of ram so a pretty nice processor 128 gigs of internal storage as well which is really nice and this does run the windows s mode so do note that is not the full version of windows uh, so you do have now this laptop does not swivel or anything like that so uh, do note that and it does not have a touch screen so it's just a regular standard uh, laptop so you do have actually a backlit keyboard on here as well for typing at night you'll be able to see just fine and you get around 7.5 hours of battery life now uh, that's not as good as the rest of them but um, you know for the screen size I think it's well worth it if you want a bigger laptop then you sort of take a cut uh, with screen on time of course but overall this is a super solid option uh, for you guys to check out if you just want something much bigger now last on the list is the RCA Cambio absolutely love this laptop it is extremely cheap right now 120 bucks this is a very good laptop for people uh, that are on an extreme budget or you're not really trying to spend a ton of money on a laptop you're just trying to do certain things and it, this actually does them uh, very well it does the basic things well which is really nice so uh, it's sort of like a two-in-one so it's, you can use it as a tablet it detaches it has a little keyboard on it as well uh, so you can use it as a touchscreen tablet no problem and uh, it's got a 10 inch display on here 10.1 inches it's an IPS display uh, it's a 720p display and it looks just fine to me when I was using it. I had no issues with it the touchscreen is very responsive as well has the Intel processor and 32 gigs of storage on here and it's very lightweight so you can definitely carry this around and again you can use it like a tablet or just prop the stand up uh, so whatever you want to do uh, it will be fine on here I was watching Netflix browsing the web didn't really have performance or stutter problems with this guy uh, which is crazy because it only has two gigs of RAM but it does have a quad core processor and if, again if you treat the laptop right and that goes for all of these if you don't install a bunch of bloatware and crap uh, these usually run pretty smooth but you gotta know what you're doing uh, so you can actually play games on here too surprisingly the games in the windows store and a couple of emulators actually work on here uh, which is pretty funny now this is not a laptop for people with small hand or people with big hands uh, because it is pretty compact so it's 10 inches so the keyboard is kind of tiny so if you have big hands you're definitely not going to be looking at uh, this laptop and battery life on here is actually pretty solid you get around six hours of screen on time which isn't terrible it's probably the worst on the list but again it's not terrible for the price that you're paying so be sure to let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next one